Go to NBC's Chris Pallone. He's in Lafayette, Louisiana. And Chris, it looks pretty calm where you are right now. Any sign of that monster storm yet? Yeah, actually, Morella, this morning started out as a sunny day, but over the last several hours, we have seen the wind kick up with gusts, and we have had bands of rain come through, sometimes hard, but we are in kind of a dry period right now. These are just those feeder bands that are many, many uh, you know, kilometers from the center of the storm. This storm is still sitting off the coast of Texas and Louisiana, not expected to make landfall until after midnight. But we can expect tropical storm force winds all the way here inland to start very soon over the next few hours. So, Chris, how has the pandemic complicated the efforts there? Well, obviously, local officials and state officials are worried about people congregating too close especially if they go to public shelters. In the past, states would open public shelters like in a basketball gymnasium or something like that and allow people to come in. There would be cots that would be very close to each other. They can't do that anymore. They can't load people closely onto buses. So what they're doing is that they're socially distancing in the shelters, meaning that the capacity has gone down. But like the state of Texas has gotten approval to use empty hotel rooms and they're trying to mitigate it that way by sending some of these evacuees into hotel rooms as opposed to shelters like basketball gyms and things of that nature. Give me a better idea here of timeline. You mentioned midnight is when the storm is expected to come in. Uh, how close to midnight do we know yet? And where is it supposed to move once it does hit land? Sure. So, so when, when they say landfall, that means when the eye wall, that's when the eye starts to move over land. That's where the, the, the hardest force of wind, the most intense wind, is taking place right at the, at the center of that storm, right in the front wall. And when that eye wall starts to move over land, they're expecting right now, forecasters say, midnight, 1 a.m. local time here, perhaps as late as 2 if it slows down. Uh, that's the approximate time frame. So what happens there? It happens approximately at the border between Texas and Louisiana, and then the storm will continue to move inland. Now, it will leave, you mentioned the storm surge, you mentioned the wind, it will leave a lot of catastrophic damage along that area, and for several uh, hundred kilometers out away from the center, but then once the storm moves over land, it's not over. As a matter of fact, it will likely cause widespread power outages and flooding in states like Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi and Kentucky as well as it moves northward out of Louisiana. Wow. All right. NBC's Chris Pallone, buckle up. Good luck. We hope you didn't uh, or hope you get spared the worst of it. And thanks for joining us.